What is up guys, G Bricks here back with week 8 of building Geonosis in LEGO. Now, last week we made a start on uh, the mountain. Now I am going to be making some changes to it, mainly because um, the mock isn't as heavy as I thought it was. I can um, pick it up quite easily, so with the mountain on, it is going to be more difficult, but um, we should be able to pick it up and um, take it downstairs. So, without further ado, make sure to please like, subscribe, and we'll get right in to this week's segment. So, starting off this week's segment, last week, as you can see, uh, we got this part of the mountain done, and I was able to achieve um, it to make it modular pretty well, but um, parts just kept falling off, and I just didn't really like how it was looking. So, hopefully, we are going to be um, making a few changes. So, I'm going to do a quick time lapse of me doing that. So, as you can see, that looks, to me, looks a lot better now. It, it it does look a bit bland at the minute. I was just sort of just going up to see how much I would get. Now, this tub was full of 2x2 um, two two bricks. Well, about that full of 2x2 two two, um, tan bricks. And I've already used them all, which is slightly concerning. But I have another about 40 here and, and another 60, I think, on the way in a bunch of different parcels. But for now, I'm just going to try order a bunch more 2x2 um, two two bricks and find a bunch more 2x2 two two bricks as well. Because I, I do know that I've got um, a bunch in my drawers and such. But um, that's looking really good so far. I, I'm going to work a bit more on uh, the terrain here um, whilst I wait for... Um, some more parts to come in. So, as you can see, I made a bunch more progress on this sort of like this bit of terrain around here. Now, I really like how these wedge plates are making this like sort of curved and angled shape. And I really like how that looks. And again, I found quite a bit of filler brick. I think you last saw it about there ish. So, I've put on an another two layers and a row down here since then. But I'm really liking how this terrain is turning out. It's not too sleek, but at the same time, that makes it look a bit more natural and such. So with that pretty much done, I just need another, I think five um, of the of um, these wedge plates. Now, these are actually really hard to find in big quantities. So every time I make an order, and um, most stores have either one or two of them. So I just pick them up um, just because of this really but i like how this is turning out now here is a little bit flat now i'm not too sure if i like that or not yet because like once the mountain is the entire way across i think it will look good and um, just that nice little flat area um now that could be where the cave goes i'm not too sure obviously that being like the center the cave in the center might look a bit weird but I might put the cave off to the side if I do decide to do a cave, that is. So, as you can see, I made a bunch of progress on uh, the mountain. Now, it, it is pretty much all filled up by Claire. As you can see, it is pretty awful. So, hopefully, I'm going to be filling up um, the back for now. But I also um, changed out a bunch of um, the wedge plates for a bunch of the wedge plates. And for these, like, bigger wedge plates, um, just to make it, you know a little bit better and also that gives me more like more plate to work on now i am out of these which i did not think was going to happen um i've just been using them you know to fill in gaps all underneath here all in the mountain too as as you can see um because some of them are like a plate up and a plate down and such but i think this looks pretty good so for now that's all i am going to do um I i'm gonna wait for some more parts to come in and open up those um, and hopefully just continue this area over here. Now here I have put in this little grate. Now I've been um, prototyping that for a while, but I 
think that it is an, a nice little detail in there, as you can see. And I will be putting one further down over there, I believe. Um, mainly because of the Droid Factory um, would be behind here and underneath um, the mountain too. And all underground, really. So, a bunch of parcels um, came in, so I'm going to quickly go ahead and go through those. Oh, in that order, I literally picked up um, six of these. Now, I spent ages just ordering as many of these as I could. Um, there was from maybe 22 to about four is the most I ordered. Um, and four is um, the least I ordered. Moving on to the next one. And again, I picked up um, seven of those as well. So I picked up um, a, a bunch more in here. I picked up um, 10, I, I believe, and then uh, some more of those wedge plates there. So this order is actually um, slightly different. I picked up literally every dark orange part uh, they had in the store. So a bunch of um, 1x2 dark orange plates, 2x2. Um, two dark orange slopes and also some 1x2 dark orange slopes in there. Um, 17 of the 2x2 ones, I think 10 of the 1x2 ones and then a bunch of the plates as I've said. Now I don't believe this is for Genosis but I'm gonna put it in nonetheless. So I caught this figure for a pretty good price of about £17.50 um, and then plus postage. But um, the cheapest this figure is in the UK, I believe, is like £35. So I basically got this figure um, for half price. So hopefully this week I'm also going to be working um, on some of the rooms that I've decided uh, to put back here. Now, if they aren't going to be shoes, it's probably going to be maybe two, maybe three layers of them, um, depending on how thick they are, obviously. So I'm going to put um, some dark bush grey along here just to um, finish that part up. So in this room, I'm planning it um, to be part of the drawing factory. Now, I am going to um, take out part of that wall and have um, a black panel in there. And just a little um, little um, construction line of just normal battle droids um, before they get spray painted. So basically, uh, they'll be going into that wall to get painted and um, just to save on Geonosian battle droids, I guess. So, um, this room's probably about 90% complete. I have um, another archway sort of thing um, like that there to go in that corner and I I'm, I'm going to make some sort of um, design there. But I think this is a pretty um, iconic scene for Geonosis. So, um, with the bottom room, just a tiny bit finished, obviously I've still got that. Um, I've put on like this little texture sort of thing that I did the entire way around. Um, the rest of the border. I've no idea what this room is going to be. I'm thinking of it like being like that tunnel where all the um, the Gene Oceans come out of. But I've I've not made a start on the rock work here. Um, so I'm planning on this being one room. Um, so there's like three, well, two main rooms and a side room sort of thing here. So once I've actually finished this part of the mountain, I'll then start working on the rooms. Obviously, this part of the mountain isn't finished, but hopefully I will get that done on a live stream tonight. But one thing I have here in um, preparation for a couple of weeks segments time is I have um, raised up this by one plate, um, which was a pain. And I've purposely left this gap, um, but that pretty much wraps it up for this week's segment. And I'm really liking all the progress that I have got done. So that pretty much wraps it up for this week's segment. Uh, we got a bunch of progress done. In this week's segment um, the, the mountain is beginning to look half finished i guess so we've got a bunch of progress done in the room and also those other three possibly two rooms um, hopefully will be done in a couple weeks segments time because i have um, that part of the mountain still to do i've got about 20 parcels on the way for those but i think this is coming along really well there is a link to my tiktok and instagram down in the description below and a big thanks to the series sponsor so make sure to please like subscribe and most importantly take care guys <laughs>